Thanks, uh, thanks, moderator and friend, a distinguished authorities. It's an honor to participate in this virtual launch of the 18th Caribbean Week of Agriculture, representing the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. I'm delighted to see the strong participation of CARICOM member states in this event. We know that agri-food systems are vital to achieve sustainable development goals. Transforming our agri-food system is essential for eradication of poverty, ending hunger, improving nutrition, and access to healthy diet. It will also ensure that our food production is more efficient, inclusive, resilient, and sustainable. In this regard, let me outline the current situation in our region. Our latest estimates show that hunger worldwide stayed about the same from 2021 to 2022. However, it's still much higher than before the COVID-19 pandemic, affecting about 9.2% of the global population, something like 735 million people. If we don't have made significant changes, over 600 million people will suffer from hunger by 2030. This means we are moving further away from the sustainable development goal related to food security and nutrition, and we need to take concrete action. In Latin America and the Caribbean, 43 million people still suffer from hunger, and more than 450 around face moderate and severe food insecurity. While the region has made some progress, this number still hinder sustainable development effort. So regional trends show that hunger decreased in South America, stayed the same in Mesoamerica, but increasing in the Caribbean in, in 2022. More than 7 million people in the Caribbean experienced hunger, with Haiti being one of the most affected countries in the world. Although the situation is still complex, some progress in reducing hunger and malnutrition give us hope. Latin America and the Caribbean was the only region in the world that remarkably reduced hunger with around 3 million. However, people suffer suffering from it. I hope this positive trend continue and we will see sooner progress in the Caribbean to keep moving forward together to eradicate hunger for all. I highlight the significant effort and compromise of CARICOM to tackle this challenge and size opportunity to transform agriculture, food security, and address the impact of climate change in the Caribbean. Seeds are priority country for FIO's work, and we continue to reinforce strategies to support sustainable development and resilience strategy. We have witnessed how the Caribbean region faces a unique set of challenge in the context of food production and climate change. Due to the geographic location, small land masses, and resilience on agriculture and tourism. FIO's work on climate change remains critically relevant, and CARICOM members highlighted this priority during the last FIO regional conference that was held in Georgetown. Guyana. The impact of climate change on small island state is evident, and uh, our joint efforts are more important than ever to address this situation. Some of our initiatives in these areas include scaling up the Honey Honey Initiative in the sub region, focusing in water management, including irrigation, and supporting women and youth in agriculture to improve livelihoods and introduce climate smart technologies while also promoting farmer exchanging among young farmers. FIU is working in the climate change and disaster, and disaster risk management group within the CARICOM's agricultural cluster. Focus on Caribbean agricultural sustainability. We are also developing a regional plan for genetic sources and emergency response strategy and promoting climate smart irrigation. We have been introducing digital and geospatial tools to face climate change's impact. And we are integrating disaster risk management and climate change adaptation on fishery and agricultural land use planning. Additionally, FIU is developing protocols to enhance early warning and anticipatory action for agricultural disaster risk management. 
FIO maintains a long-standing relationship on data and statistics with CARICOM member states. We continue to support the implementation of the CARICOM regional strategy for the development of statistics and are preparing to enhance this collaboration with the implementation of the food insecurity experience scale, fees, and the assessment of the cost affordability of a healthy diet. We are transforming value change, developing the sub-region and facilitating public-private sector partnership and improving access to input technologies and finance. If I continue to support 25 for 2025 initiative, aiming for the 25% reduction of food, food imports by 2025. Our integrated approach focuses on improving production and productivity using modern technology and digital solutions. For example, the FIO Mexico CARICOM Resilient Caribbean Initiative, which addresses the water energy, food nexus, and strengthened school feeding programs. FIO recognizes the importance of investment forum of the sub regional such as the Guyana Investment Forum. I reaffirm our commitment to strengthening partnership with multiple stakeholders like the moderator said, other UN agencies, and other key cooperation partners, such as ICA, to further these goals. Finally, I would like to underline the newly approach of CELAC Food Security and Nutrition Plan for 2024-2030, which received unanimous support from all the 33 countries of Latin America and the Caribbean. This consensus marks an extraordinary opportunity to advance the implementation of measures and policy dedicated to eradicate hunger and malnutrition through a comprehensive food system management approach. This initiative transcends political and ideological and national boundaries, emphasizing our collective responsibility to tackle hunger as a global, regional, and national issues. Our collaborative efforts are making significant strides in addressing the challenges posed by climate change and other things. We look forward to continuing to work together to build a better production, a better nutrition, a better environment, and finally, a better life, but leaving no one behind. Thank you very much.